Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James, hope you guys are all doing well and I'm back as we continue our City Skylines playthrough and the challenge to reach a population of 100,000. Previously we added some more transport, we put in a metro station, a bus station and ferry terminals and that's all helped ease some traffic off on our city here. But we need to expand and we need to add some more map and get this highway just at the lower hand side here. We need to connect that to another part of the map. That's our train line and metro station that's working out pretty well. But it's this highway that I want to be adjusting today. And we also need to expand on our industries. And I was thinking about expanding into the logging industry today. And we're going to have a quick look at the map and figure out where we're going to stick that. As you can see, I've got this ugly temporary little roundabout at the bottom here. That's going to go. I'm going to add a bridge and connect it up to the existing highway here. So we're going to buy some more map. So first off, I was thinking about adding the logging industry just over at the back here. But as you can see, we've got access to petroleum here. So I may do some offshore rigging in the future, in which case I'm not actually going to expand that way. We're going to leave it. Got a few of these dead industry buildings here. I really need to change this round. We only need half as much industry as we've got over here. Just delete them and think about something else. It was just a temporary part. So what I want to do today is really expand on that other highway and try and ease some of that traffic congestion and change this entirely here. So it's probably going to take me a while to reroute this and this has all got to go and I'm going to have to rearrange the train line and the terminal. So I think what we'll do is we'll purchase this square here and I should be able to unlock a second one as well. And even though this square has got lots of space to build in at the bottom, I'm going to take the one next to it just here so I can completely join that highway up. And that gives us a lot more space to work with. It's a great thing about this. One of the differences between this and Sim City or the latest version of Sim City is you only got one square, but in City Skylines, it does get quite big. So now that we got the petroleum at the bottom, I was thinking just here would be a good place to put a logging industry kind of next to our steel industry. And I want to rearrange all of this here. So I'm probably going to do a little bit off camera here, get rid of this intersection and do something so we can connect our highway. Okay, so I've been busy. I've changed all the roads around. Just here, you can see we've put in this little trumpet intersection just here. And there's a way to get in and out off of our highway. As it continues up here, we go across the bridge. You can already see cars going out and in and out. So that is really going to help combat traffic. Now we've got somewhere where that road leads to. We've got some of the railway going underneath here. And as you can see, all the exits sort of lead in and all out properly. I've just put this one road going up the back here. So I'm probably going to expand this little village out a little bit. Okay, so I've just been keeping an eye on things. We're still hovering around the 42,000, 43,000 population. And I've just really been taking my time to build up this area and it's looking, it's looking great. I've put a load of trees down to act as a sort of sound barrier. And what we got here, we got a bit of commercial, that building's gone out of business. But this is just a small little suburb. We added a little church there. And if we come over here, as you will see, magic. There's no more queue and we've solved the traffic problem coming in to our city by connecting that highway. And if we look over here, as you can see, everything we've managed to do has stopped all of that congestion. So now I'm feeling confident that we can expand on our city and add more population without it becoming a complete traffic jam. I do, however, want to keep an eye on this section here. As you can see, there's a bit of a queue leading up to this roundabout. So maybe I can have a little bit of a rethink about that avenue in this area. But for now, that is working fine. 
Now off camera as well, I've also terraformed this at the back here. I've flattened out this space at the back a little bit so we can add another industry section along here. I've also added in a second cargo line or terminal. So this is where I think we're gonna concentrate on building today and putting in our logging industry. So let's go and find, I think we'll find the industrial road. I haven't got road deterioration turned on, but you can have that. So you have road traffic maintenance as well. Okay. So let's just come from this cargo line because the steel industry has its own dedicated line and the logging industry is gonna have it as well. I'm just thinking it might be an idea to put a bit of a key as well along that river bank just here rather than just having it slip down into a beach we could kind of barrier that section off so if we come in here and we want is it canals that's fences paths um, water structures here we go so I just want to add a key along here and we'll straighten this up not going to go all the way along with it but I'm just going to straighten this section off perhaps don't know to about here and if we just bring that bit just here okay and then I can bring the road down level with the key okay just thinking about how we're going to get across the river here Perhaps we'll put a bridge in there at some point. Let's bring this along the quay, this industrial road. I'll probably have our main forestry buildings down the front here. Now, I haven't completely flattened the train off, but it was quite rocky. As you can see there, it lifts up a little bit. But some of the logging buildings are quite big, so it helps to have a flatter surface. And I guess I'll just bring the road down to here for now. I'm not quite sure what I'll have on the end here. Perhaps another little suburb or a village at the end. Right now, we put a, a road going sort of across the middle of it here. And along here, we can have a load of forestry buildings yeah something like that Just perhaps bring it down to here and connect it up like so okay go fantastic so we'll just go into our industries panel and log in so first off we need to designate this area as an industry area we're going to paint a new industry and we can bring the steel industry back just wipe that out because we want that cargo line in with the logging industry and the steel industry has its own cargo line so I'm just going to paint all of this in here that's great just like that now it's going to let us place that industry and there you go there's the other cargo terminal just over there okay where are we want industries first off we want to place our main building down so where are we going to place that um do we want next to perhaps we'll have it down near the river here it's a nice view so that's unlocked the tree plantations the logging yard and sawmill so being that we got quite a money a lot of money in the bank I'm gonna be able to level this up quite fast we can put quite a lot of industry down here stick several plantations down just sort of space them out evenly 
Mm, maybe just three opposite as well. So there's our tree plantations. So you need to hook up some water. And we're managing just fine now for the moment for our sewage and water needs. Not quite sure why the uh, plantations need water, but I'll just do the usual thing of following the roads. I'll just connect this one across this junction here like so. Okay. Connect this just in case we end up building on the end there in the future, which I'm sure we will. So we're going to need some power as well, but let's have a look at else, what else we can stick down within the industry sections. We've got our small log yard. So we're going to need somewhere to store some logs. Stick one there. Perhaps we'll stick a couple of sawmills in. And I think that's about as much as we can do for the first stage of our logging plantation. Of course, like all of the other industries, it does unlock the more you produce and the more it grows. So it takes a little bit of time. I'm just going to even the terrain, sort of left click on it and then right click. I can just see there's a little bump there. There we go, it sort of sits a lot nicer there. It's going to need some electricity. We can also change what type of trees are grown, just like we can change what's farming, but I'll, uh, I'll stick with the beech trees, that's fine. And we just got to let more workers arrive and let this industry build up and that's going to start making money for us as well. You can see the terrain's not quite right there. I'm just going to level it off around our main building. Just get rid of that bump in the hill. Just there. And I think we can also make this slope a little bit more gentle here. Yeah, that's fine. Like it. So we just hook up with some electricity and slowly but surely we'll get some more workers and that will take the demand for the industry down a bit more and if I can just put this power cable will it connect to the train line yeah there we go we've got power so that's our logging industry up and running and as we unlock and we can build more things and paper, it unlocks other industries. So this is all going to play hand in hand, unlocking more things and hopefully generating some more money. Because once we start opening sports stadiums and growing our city, then we, we, we do need more money than we have. Shall I just put down perhaps one more? Yeah, let's put one more logging yard down. Okay. Let's let this build up for a little bit of time and uh, just let the simulation run for a bit. Okay, so I have been at this for a couple of hours now and although the population's not moved, I've still got around 43,000. I've completely changed this road round and the railway and just on here, just off this highway, I was just thinking about adding a little bit of farmland. There's not much I can do with this section. I'm just going to have a little couple of windy roads and we'll put some fields in here as it has got rich farmland and it's quite close to our other farms and industry so we'll be able to use some of the pro produce in some of our other factories like our bakery and whatnot. Okay. So paint and dedicate this again to a little bit of industry. I'll paint that bit in as well just in case we end up going over that side. I don't think we will though. And perhaps we can grow something different over here. So we stick our farm main building down. So 
me stick that perhaps just here. It will let us stick it down just in this area. So that's our main building. We've got to put one of those down. I don't want any cattle, but we'll go for um, fruit fields. We've got plenty of fruit, I guess. We'll stay away from the dairy and the farming stuff. We'll just go for some normal small crop fields. Or perhaps medium crop fields actually might be a better idea. So, stick one there. One there. And we could also probably stick a couple of silos down as well as the grain fields use those for storage. Don't want to overdo it. The barns aren't really necessary as we don't have any cattle. But perhaps we can shove a worker's barracks down and that in increases productivity as well. So perhaps shove that there. And there we go. That should, we need to put some water in. That should help benefit bring in a little bit more produce. Anything extra we have, it will be exported. Just bring this round here. So I have had a major rework on this road here. And we've now got a crossroads for our train line. Let's just finish this water section off here. And I guess we need some power. So let's connect this field over here. And then I've got some train lines running across that river. So I really want to perhaps run this pylon along parallel to the bridge. And I cut over the, we can cut over the train line just here. There we go, like so. And that should give everybody power. So, and we are growing, at the moment we're growing corn, but we could swap them around for something else. Potatoes. Wheat, greenhouses, we've already got some of them. I don't think I've grown cotton, so let's change them all to cotton just to give it a different sort of look. I don't really think it makes any difference at all which produce you grow in, it just takes it as produce. It's more for an aesthetic view as to what you change these to. But yeah, we've got some corn farms over this side there. Awesome. And here's our little train intersection here, our crossroads. I don't think this will be a particularly busy road, so I've let the train line just to come across there, and it's only going to be the odd cargo train coming, so it should be fine. And I haven't seen anybody using this road, so... And that's because our intersection is actually the wrong way around, so we need to reverse this. So it's a way to get out of the city. And now, perhaps people will start using that road. Okay. So I'm liking it. We seem to get a fair amount of traffic coming in and out there. Like I say, it's going to take a little bit of time for them to plan routes. And hopefully we'll start seeing them use that farm road as well, just here. All right, let's let this build up for a sec and we'll be right back. Here we go, there's our cargo train. The barriers lift up and they can carry on down here. So it's not a particularly busy road. It was only meant to be like that. So I'm going to leave the train going across like that. A couple of cars parked on the side. Should really only be used for the farms. Everything's building up really nice. Now I've added some more houses along the front here. Just on the corner, we've got some commercial, somewhere to go for a drink, some restaurants. And just along here, we've got some more of the 
posh economy houses overlooking the river. I think they look great. Really starting to get a nice skyline on, as you can see in the distance there. Moving along, that's the ferry terminal we put in last week. More people are using it and as soon as I build up this section of the city it will become more popular I'm sure. So let's take a little tour. This is what's been the problem for the last couple of episodes, getting rid of the traffic coming in here and it's flowing really nicely into our city off of this roundabout even though it's a freeway roundabout everything's managing just fine take a look this is the pretty much the first avenue we added let's just take a little tour a white building there's extremely bright is it, is it, that's, that's a cinema okay like that nice gotta have a cinema along the avenue for sure keep on going along here and as you can see that our metro now this is what's helped ease congestion here because look how popular this is the amount of people using the metro getting in and off so it's really encouraged a lot more walking like it Ooh, looks like a KFC's managed to slip in on the assets I did try to run this unmodded or largely unmodded I've listed the mods I'm using on my discord but um, uh, the KFC is an asset that's kind of slipped in I'm gonna leave it though because I kind of like it um, and there we go, that's our elementary school that we started off. KFC right next to it. We carry on down towards Hornthorn Gardens. This was the first park that we added just here. And look at the skyline in the distance now. It's looking really cool. I like it. And these buildings along the front have really leveled up as well. They're quite posh looking beach houses that have now been propping up. have a little tour of the city you can see they're quite big these skyscrapers here with the helicopter pads on top yeah like it some of the some of the skyscrapers that start to pull, pop up are really really nice particularly like this pair just here they're really modern but traffic seems to be flowing just fine okay fantastic so just moving on here you can see our modern technology institute I put this building down before we had a university just to get some more educated citizens in our city but we don't actually need it in fact we need more students at the university in order to level it up so I'm going to delete this modern technology institute because I've got the academic works and the campus attractiveness is up to what it needs to be so we'll get rid of that building so problem is what to stick in its place considering there's just over 600 students here they should then carry on to university across the water so we'll get rid of that even though there's some unhappy bunnies about that you just have to make do now it's too early to stick some football stadiums down. I'm going to uh, think about that later on in our play, but let's have a look. We could put a fountain down. Maybe that's a little bit small. Have we got anything a little bit bigger than that? Let's have a look. We have the hypermarket. We could stick ourselves an Asda down or a Walmart if you're in America. Yeah, there we go. Let's swap that round for our Modern Technology Institute. Another place for our citizens to go shopping. So I just need to pay a little bit of attention to these two roundabouts here. As you can see, traffic is starting to build up, so I need to keep my eye on that. And we have got another level on our logging industry. Really didn't take us too long to do it. We've got plenty of plantations down and we're producing lots of goods so we've opened up a few new things and including some forestry workers barracks and we've got these biomass pellet plants the sawmill we've already put down so let's just stick the biomass pellet plant down first because that's quite a long large building so let's put that up there 
And of course we've got some sawdust storage. So just trying to think. I want to spread everything out. I don't want it too gritty. And we've got some power lines there. So perhaps we shove our sawdust storage just here. And let's just take a little look at how they look. Just trying to think we've got. We could put another biomass pallet plant, perhaps two of these down. Next to the sawdust. Um let me just have a look how they look. So I like it. Now I'm thinking perhaps put another biomass pallet plant down next to it. And maybe another storage unit. Again, help produce more goods. So let's go back into industries and let's move it along here. So biomass pallet plants. So perhaps one more of these down next to our sawdust plantations just along here. Yeah, I like it. And if we just add some workers' barracks as well, that'll also increase productivity. And hopefully by the next episode, we can get some more levels and unlock some more industry buildings. So here it is, the forestry workers' barracks. I think we've got enough sawmills down. I'm just thinking this square here next to the main building. We'll put another log storage in there and put the barracks as they're quite large. I think just the one workers barracks will be adequate over here. They are quite large buildings, but that's going to increase productivity on our logging industry. And uh, that's plenty going on here enough for us to level up next time round and uh, hopefully turn a profit if we just go into the industry info there we can see we look we got 211 of 427 workers and we'll we're, we're certainly going to hit our next milestone not a problem with the amount of industry we've got down here but that's about all the time i've got for that episode of complete city skylines I think next week we can certainly think about expanding the population. I feel we've been hovering around the 40,000 mark for a couple of episodes, but we've really needed to get on top of that traffic. And now we've opened up that second section of highway, things are flowing a lot more nicely. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.